Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're actually behind Firelink Shrine in that previously locked tower. We saved up 20,000 souls to figure out what was back here. And so far, it's just been like a giant tower, <laughs> obviously. But we haven't seen anything, oh, noteworthy as of yet. But this could be ominous. Firekeeper soul? Uh, okay. Soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. So it's a key. We return from the abyss. And we could try and, and give it to the, the woman below. We could try and give it to the old woman below. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else up here. So we made the trek. That must be... That must be for something huge. Because we essentially paid 20,000 souls for that. Which is fine. I'll try and talk to the two women back at the... Um, I should say, not the two, two of the women that are back there. Uh, where's this leading to? Uh, that's interesting. I see, like, a, a body down there that we could pillage, but how do we access that area? Maybe this is where we jump from this rooftop. Please live. Holy fuck, that hurt. Looks like- oh, there's a lizard. Okay. Oh, this will be faster to access this area if we kick the ladder down. And then, here we go. Twinkling Titanite. Sounds like an insult for some reason. Soulbound weapons cannot be reinforced. This is, um, okay. This is good. Reinforces soulbound weapons to plus four. I like it. And before I forget to do it, we noted that body way over there a long time ago, so we're gonna check that out. Oh, cool. Take a couple of those, why not? Let's see where else this leads. Ooh, okay, that's how we get inside there. So that's where we were seeing the uh, body from above, I'm guessing. This is where we had the guy where we got the Uchi from. And I'm guessing that if we go inside there, we're actually going to be able to open that gate because it's not openable from this location. But where is this taking us now? There's so much shit happening here that I wasn't even considering. Oh, it just loops us. Okay. Well, fair enough. So, let's go back this way. And we'll take the entry from here. I guess there's probably a point from below where we might be able to see an entrance up here. And that could be, like, the cue to, to come and look for it, but... It's not something I ever noticed. Oh, this is like really high above. Okay, cool. Let's just not screw this up. What? You, you, me, me, pickle. Is that up top there? Me, me, thump rum. What the? F now, I remember in the previous Souls games, there was some, like, birds, and if you gave them, uh, like, I can't remember what it was, you had to give them, like, it was junk, basically. Hey, and actually, we have some junk. <laughs> I wonder. We have this rubbish. Who in their right mind would bother carrying this around? 
Hello, that's huge. And I suppose that's probably all that we can do up here. I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna try this. I'm gonna just try putting our rubbish here. Um... Leave it. Let's leave both. What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, that's actually- we were onto something, I think. Or not. They don't like it. That no pickle pea. That no pickle pea. That no pumper rum. Pickle pea and pumper rum. <laughs> uh, well, uh, okay. We'll take our rubbish back. I tried. You. We'll have to figure out pickle pea and pumper rum. So, if, I don't know, but if we have anything that resembles that description, then we'll give it a shot. But now we know it's up here. And we'll go talk to the ladies here. We'll reinforce our Estes again, which is fantastic. Because we have the Firekeeper's Soul, I think it's called. Yeah. See how he's doing. Gaining admission to the Legion. Inside the evil. Okay, we knew about this. Fire. He's told us that. To snuff out the flames to get access to Welcome the Legion. Home. Speak then. Give Firekeeper soul. So that must be it. Uh, well, I just want to see if. Ah, oh, how? Okay, Ashen shrine. One. She's just a shrine handmaiden, but sure. I picture her as like one of those souls. firekeepers from Dark Souls 2. Welcome home, Ashen One. Oh, you know what? Just to check that it's not like a weapon or something. I'm gonna talk to him. It's probably not, but you never know. You honestly, you don't. You uh, never know. That return. So, happened upon any twisted souls? We've got a firekeeper soul. Yeah, no, not quite. Now, now. It's worth a shot. Not be away. Okay, let's see what giving her this does for us. Welcome home, speak. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. So she's now able to heal the Dark Sigil. I have no idea what that means. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Heal the Dark Sigil. What? I don't even have that many souls, for one thing. Farewell, Ash, may the flame. Heal the Dark Sigil? Uh... Oh! This thing! A black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of the undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark soldier will never heal, but there is a tale told of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to the bearer of the curse. That is awesome. Okay, so now, um, in about 4,000 souls, we can remove that mark, I guess. Ah, tastes good, wasn't he? Assuming that's a good thing. Okay. But be careful. This is getting this is getting interesting. Look, we're up to seven charges now. That's awesome. We're we're I think we're a little um a little behind on levels. And actually we didn't figure out how to go up and take out the guy that's at the top of that um elevator. So the elevator only went down, 
I'm gonna go back and see if um Sig Sigmund? Sigmund Sigafried or something? Of Katarina. Let's see if he's up there. This guy's not coming back. So I like that. We should actually just check over here. Nothing. Uh, and let's actually switch back to our store spear. Maybe killing that guy, like, triggers this thing or something. Can't adjust this. Where did our buddy go? Wouldn't surprise me to see him just resting out here. Because that's where he ran into him the first time, right? He was outside of like a... Was he outside? Uh, I just heard something launch. He's up above us, right? So we should be fine. Now I'm not sure how we can go up top. We can't seem to change this. Huh. Okay, well. There's got to be a way. Could it be... I wonder if it could be, like, weight-related. Does that make any sense? I don't think we've ever seen anything like that in the past. Um, it's worth a shot. I mean, it's, maybe it's stupid, but I don't know. As long as the trip is overly long. No. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know how to get it to go upwards, so we'll have to come back at some point. Uh, we were wearing the Brigand Hood. The Cell Sword Armor, I think. Yep. Brigand Gauntlets and the Knight tr Trousers. No, I feel like we're heavy now. We're still a bit over. Was this the shield that we were using? Pretty sure. Yeah, it's the only one. Um... wear master's gloves, I guess. Takes us down to 70.2. Huh. I thought we were under, but... That's really strange. I guess we could wear the brigand armor. Oh, maybe we were in... Were we in deserter gear? We may have been, actually, now that I look at it. I don't know. Doesn't matter. What does matter is there's this weird, like, noise in this area. And I don't know how... We can make that... Elevator go up. We must have a clue at some point. I should actually maybe go back and watch what he said. There were probably clues in what he was saying, but I think he was basically like, you know, I can't figure it out, so figure it out. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. Let's amber up. How about that? I'm thinking that this may not be the ideal weapon here. Oh, that's that's why, because we were using this weapon before. 
So, yeah, there we go. Now let's see if we can't put some miles in this cape. Pull one. Okay, that's a good strategy. That worked out well. Oh, come on now. That was a bit messy. I still don't know what that... Eat shit, eat shit! We still don't know what that, like, purple fog does to us. I don't really want to find out. Backup, I see. I remember that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that feels good! I don't like that we miss him when he's on the ground, though. Oh. Don't. 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 Ooh. We haven't seen that before. Storyteller staff. This is for casting uh, spells and the like. Staff of a heretic storyteller who shares tales of the painted world. Hey, painted world throwback. The storytellers, too, are wretched beings with no place. Oh, these are the guys from the top of the rafters, aren't they? Of the, uh, the painted world. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. But I think these are them. Their body souls and even their staves are tall, are all tainted through and through. Um... Expel noxious spores from the formless parasitical things that inhabit the staff. So it is poison, that cloud that we saw. Now, because we invested all those souls, that's like a few levels that we are... I would say somewhat behind of, of where we should probably be at. But, um, that's okay. We'll make it happen. We nailed that. That was a great shot. Come on over. Come on over. Oh, shit. Ruining our sword, but we're alive. I don't even know if that can reach us. It probably dissipates. Did she just wake? I think she woke them all. Holy shit! No! There we go, there we go! Oh fuck, we're in the corner. We're gonna roll off. Get me out of here! This 
this is too many. This is too many! Holy fuck did we get ruined there. Holy shit. Okay, so we've learned, though, that that thing, like, calls them all. Um... That's what it seems like, anyways. He, like, brings them all to life in some sick, twisted way. Now, what I'm worried about is a few folds here. Like, look at this shit. We invested so heavily in that key, and that's, like, I think becoming a pretty important difference maker here. That we don't have that extra, like, just that little bit of extra damage, or that little bit of extra health, you know? Uh... That's a much easier way of doing that. I'm going for it. Fuck off! Things are way too quick. One more. There we go, there we go. Holy hell. And nothing was lost. Ish. Except for an ember, which is considerable. Um, just in case things get crazy again, I'm gonna take out these guys up top. Fuck this, we're embering again. I feel like we've used a few too many of those. Maybe I can just get one of these guys. Yep. Yes! Oh, I thought he had one behind him. Okay, well, if you're gonna give me the chance, again... Yeah, I think that shriek is the... is the fuck-off call. Anything but the wall would have been great there. Fuck. One down. Okay, we've got this on control. Okay. I think. Oh, you motherfucker. You little dick! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> that went exactly as planned, so it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, what are you gonna do without your precious little bird buddies? That's what I thought. Not a goddamn thing! Crushed. Think about that next time. Okay, now, I do see... Oh, beautiful. I do see that if we drop down there... 
That's not bad. There's there's shit happening there. Um, exactly what kind of sh stuff? I don't know. But I do feel that we've made the right decision with this sword in this area. Just because we can get more attacks in and keep those things staggered. Let's see. So that's going to lead over there. We've got dogs. And then... Oh, that'll probably lead us right back to here. So, um, this should be okay. We're a bit low, but... Gotta take chances in life. Just like that guy did. See? It pays off. <laughs> Hey, come over here. Uh oh, that one was pregnant. Shit. Morna's ring. I can always use extra rings. Boost miracles doesn't really help us. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it's cool, but it doesn't really help us. Who is this? Given to the Knights of Karim. Morn served the goddess Katha and later became an apostle of the Archbishop. They labored together to provide comfort to the suffering. Oh! We needed a Braille tomb! And that will allow her to teach us better miracles, which we're not using anyways, but that's cool. So that's exactly where that is. A sacred Braille tomb from Karim, filled with advanced miracles. Give to a storyteller to learn advanced Karim miracles. In the way of white, there is a tradition of placing great faith in the words of the blind, and Braille tombs are not unusual. And this, her name was, um, what is it? Irina, I believe. So that's cool. It just, oh shit. Oh, I don't want to be fighting on this little ledge if I don't have to. Holy shit! Come on. Couple of arrows sticking out of you and everything. That's good. Very good. Uh, maybe this. Oh yeah, no, this is the ledge we were looking at before. We're cool. Everything's fine. That was great. That was a good little detour. Now, where are we though? Looks like there's access to coming from there. Oh, nice. We have a bonfire, but we have some... Who is that? Should we be worried about this? Because clearly they can't see me from there. Who are we looking at? Could be knights. Might have to throw down here. Right by the bonfire, though? Would they? Oh, something just happened. I think they might be... F <laughs> I think they might be friendly. I'm gonna approach cautiously, unarmed. That's smart. Yes. Oh, hello. How do you do? I'm good, thanks. I am Anri of Astora, Ooh, unkindled Henry. like you. This is Horace, a friend and traveling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We yeah, are well along we the road are. of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet, oh, is the that's where. Of the deep. Okay. We seek the cathedral. Home of the Grim Aldrich. We've heard of all these places, so we're on the right track. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, 
one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. A little foreshadowing, perhaps? <laughs> Blue Sentinels. Oh, he's got like a... Okay. Now, Blue Sentinels were a covenant in the past, and I imagine that that hasn't changed. So, the way of the blue hasn't done anything for us right now. Uh, yeah, so maybe blue sentinels. Equipped to pledge oneself to the blue sentinels covenant. When a member of the way of blue is threatened by a dark spirit, the blue sentinels, in compliance with the ancient accord, assume the form of blue spirits and, root and help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place... Yeah, frick yeah. Wait. Why can't I equip this? Uh, switch? No. Do we have to do this somewhere specific? I can't remember exactly. Oh yes, Horace. He's not very talkative. No, yeah, we got that. Don't Thanks. think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. A fine partner for this grueling journey. I believe Without you. his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. <laughs> <laughs> we are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet, as we may go, ask the next. May the okay. So, uh, before we head back to Firelink, whoa! What is that noise? Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, what is that? It's like almost an actual zombie. Noises and all. And there's two of them. I didn't even see the first one. Okay, let's head back. Do we have any souls we can use? Nope. Might not even be able to level up, but that's okay. We're going back to take the braille thing. Or we could uh, we could cleanse the um, not cleanse but the dark soul thing. We could try. Hey, that's uh. Wait, what? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms. Where did you come from? Of the divinity. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Right, we Blessing better not talk. Upon your journey. Who, who, why are you I doubt here? We've much to gain. Blessing of okay, great. Well, thanks for that. Um, yeah, you're welcome to stay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what she's about or why she's here. Give her this oh, braille book. Enough, do you wish to hear a tale? Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Damn right, I now have. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have! <laughs> okay, so. Um, some advanced miracles in here now. Look at this one. Grant one chance to endure when HP reaches zero. That's cool. So you can reach zero and then maybe take another hit, or... I, I really like these ones to replace Homeward Bones, really. It'd be nice to have, and it's not too far off. Um, it's a couple of extra faith. Have a pleasant... Actually, you know what? Let's talk to her and see if she has anything else to add. Oh, champion, do you wish... You know, in my home of Curry, I would be pleased, although to be honest, but if I had a divine... Oh, terribly sorry. But you'll... We did that, though. Okay, I'm just going to assume that she's on... She's confused. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to take a break. When we come back, we might either level up or we'll uh, do the... Uh, 
actually figure out what it's called so I don't just like stumble over my words thinking Welcome of it. Home, speak. Or we'll do the healing of the dark sigil. Well, I don't know what the game. impacts are. Like that's so I kind of like that um, that it's unknown, but I don't know. Maybe we'll hold off. We'll see. I'll think about it. Um, but for now, take care of yourselves and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.